Today we are taking a look at some sealed Pokemon products that are on the move. And we are starting off with a banger. And this is obviously 151's been crazy. This is the Zapdos EX collection box. And today I just started, I was looking through, I was saying, oh, what, what sealed has been moving? And I'm looking around and 48% on the Zapdos box in the last three months on TCG Player. That is absolutely wild. It, it's even up another 5% just in the last month alone. And in the last year, if you would have bought this a year ago at release for $20, you'd be up 95%. Wow. That is absolutely wild. Those are crazy gains. Then we have the Obsidian Flames Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Now, we talked about a little bit about the uh, exclusive card that's in here, the Charmander, where he's looking out the window with the Pidgey, right? Um, we talked about the Pokemon Center stamped cards very recently as well. So those are kind of on the move. So it makes sense that the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes would be on the move 39% in the past three months. Seen some big gains. Three months ago, you could have had this at $66, and now it's in the 90s. Last solds, this is interesting. So we have two in the 80s, but then we have 100 and 110. So wild right there. That would be well, uh, well above $93. So in the last month, it's up 14%. And in the last year, it is still up 14%. Wow. Those are big numbers for Obsidian Flames. Sealed product doing well. A lot of singles, not so much. Then we have another EX collection box from 151. This is the Alakazam collection, and it is up 31.8% in the past three months. Had a little dip right here, and then it just continues to climb. One, 151 is just insane. In the past month alone, it's up 17%, and in the year, 94%. Same thing like with the Zapdos. Zapdos was 20. You could have picked this up for $22 a year ago. A year hold for 94%. Wow. Very impressive. These 151 cannot be stopped. Speaking of, we're going to have a few more 151 products, but we're going to get to some other ones, I promise. Okay. This is the regular ETB. It just cracked $80. But check this out. Look at these most recent sales, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87. This is on its way to a $90 box. Just the regular, just the regular ETB, up 18% in the past three months. And in the last month, almost 9%. Pull back to the one year, 51% gain in the past year. A lot of sales around this $50 mark back here, back in November. But yeah, from 54 all the way up to in the 80s. And this chart's a little off. if. If last sales was in 87s, this is showing 81. So expect this to continue to rise. This is going to be a bigger percentage gain than what's showing. Then we have the same box, but Pokemon Center exclusive. Okay, we got that stamped Snorlax card. We talked about that recently. Up 22% in the past three months. And the one month is up 10%. We'll zoom out to the one year. Wow. So, yeah, I know that's wild. You could have bought this for 105 a year ago, and you'd be up 38%. Had its low right here in the $80 range. It's pretty wild. Last solds on this, 155. 155, 155, 150, so yeah. This, uh, once again, this price, same thing. This price should be going up, so expect this chart to get updated. Then we have the UPC from 151. This is our last 151 product, but I just wanted to touch it. Not as big of gains, but up 18.3%, so if you guys are if you guys were picking up those Costco um, UPCs, I, what were they like, 90, 80 or 90, somewhere right, right around there, right? So those would be pretty big gains. Um, in the last month, it's actually kind of leveling out. It's kind of down a little, 1.34%. Uh, and in the past year, it's only up 15%. And yeah, so it dipped. You could have had this all day under 100 for a while. Slow and steady climb, but yeah. Pretty good gains on the UPC. Now we're going to get into some elite trainer boxes. I kind of was starting to look and I noticed all these ETBs going up recently. So this is the Silver Tempest ETB, which has been dirt cheap for a long time. I remember using TikTok codes, the, the heyday of the TikTok coupons, and getting like an ETB with free shipping for like 
18 bucks. It was wild. Um, super cool. But you had to like make a new account. It was like a whole thing. If you know, you know. Let me know in the comments if you guys were getting those TikTok deals. Uh, but 18% in the past three months. Finally seeing some gain on this. And in 14% in the past month alone. So uh, this is where we're starting to see some, some gains on this. Approaching $40. If we zoom out to the one year, it's only up 4%. So back here, you can see the boxes were similarly priced. And they dipped down. I mean, look at this. $26. They were in the $20 for a long time. Now they're creeping up on 40 so interesting gains. Uh, we'll pull up the last solds. Like I said, we're creeping up on 40. Last sold at 38 and 39.50. So Silver Tempest ETB is finally going to hit $40. That's nice to see. Then we have the uh, Lost Origin. Same thing. I was getting these TikTok coupon deals, right? Um, but 11%, a little higher price here. 11% on the past three months. And in the last month, it's showing another almost 9%, which is pretty solid. And on the one year, it's up 21%. So pretty solid gains there. Um, could have had this $28 or less if you had the TikTok coupons. But now it is at $47. And this is a this seems like this might be an anomaly at $39. But last sold's right here, $47, $47, $47, 47 So that seems to be the market price for Lost Origin ETB. Then we have Astral Radiance. Not as big of gains, but... Um, I saw some posts on, I don't know, it was a little while ago on Reddit, I think, um, Astro, these ETBs were popping up in like Targets and Walmarts, just like just recently, so that's kind of wild. 7% um, gain over the past three months, and 4% in the past month, so still continuing to go up, and 10% over the past year, um, not as popular of a set, so it's surprising to see this, um, but you can see $44, there's one for 38 but 44 and $43 sale. Uh, once again, which would bring this price up a little bit, and you'd see some better gains um, if that was reflected in the chart. Then we have, <coughs> excuse me, Fusion Strike here. Now, another great set from Sword and Shield era. These, it's just surprising. It seemed like these ETBs for the longest time, they were available in the Pokemon Center. They were cheap. Everyone had them. Nobody wanted them, right? And now we're starting to see some gains, which is kind of exciting. So 18%. In the past three months and most of that coming in this last month 17.5 percent from 48 all the way up to 57 we'll zoom out to the one year 62 percent on the fusion strike etb lowest point you could have had this around 32 dollars on tcg last solds we're seeing 62 65 so once again this chart should be higher within the next few days this is going to go up so those are some big gains if we're in the 60 62 65 range this is looking good um then we're gonna get off the etbs just for a bit this is uh you know just once again just searching around my sealed products right on tcg paldea booster bundles up 25 percent in the past three months alone kind of leveling off coming down a little in the past month uh down a little bit but 38 percent in the past year for paldea booster bundles pretty good gain and you could have had this for $22 and they're selling for 33 with the last sold so it looks like this this product might be coming down a little I don't I'm not sure why that oh my gosh a bug just flew into my mouth oh, that was gross I think I swallowed it um anyways uh looks like this might be coming down because you can see 38s 35s and now we're back down into the 20s so this product might be cooling off I'm not sure why this spike came from but it's interesting so that's why I put it on this list I can't believe I just swallowed a bug um, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, this not as big of gains here on the Paldea. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive, but just wanted to show ETBs. Right, they seem to be going up. Eight percent past three months, and yeah, so you're seeing most of that in the last month. Seven point seven percent in the past month. We'll zoom out to the one year. It's just up eighteen percent. Could have had this for seventy eight about at its lowest and now it's in the 95s however check this out this is interesting see these charts are not fully updated or they're just they take a while look at these last sales 140 140 140 140 that's wild so this is going to see a big bump if this continues uh listed median is 140 that's what they're selling for there's only 22 on here so wild the scarcity on those um then we have we're gonna we're going back a little bit right 
Sun and Moon, team up, epic set. Got some solid gains here. Hardly any sales, okay? It's a very expensive box. 35% in the past three months and 20% in the past month alone, even though there was only one sale. But zoom out to the one year, 65% increase. Could have had it for 482 back here. And now we're into almost $800 a box. These are the last solds. $798 and $797. Elite Trainer Box. Team up. $800. That is wild. Um, listed median price. There's only three on here. Listed uh, average price is $845. So this will crack the $800 point at some time. Like, that's insane. Sun and Moon era. Team up. Absolutely stunning set. So... Um, not totally surprising, but just when you start to think about ETB at 800, it just hurts my brain a little. Celestial Storm here, another one. It was just, you know, I'm digging back. We're going back into some older sets. We're not just exclusively modern here. 17.5% over the past three months. With just about 3%, 4%, call it, in the past month. Um, over the year, though, 34% is a pretty solid gain. Uh, looks like the low point arose around 285 now we're up to almost 400. Listed median price is 400, so this is about to crack 400. Um, we did have a 400 sale back in July, so uh, interesting. Not once again, these these ETBs get so expensive, the sales become few and far between. Then we have Hidden Fates here, just not as not as big of gains, right? But still showing some steady growth. 6.8 percent past three months. You got the one month chart here, almost 4 percent. Zoom out to the one year. It's it's not as good as you'd want for a whole like one year gain, but um, it was 169 down here, dipped down to 162, and now it's at its one year high. So um, with with once again, see these sales, 199, 199, and then and then it started to dip. So will this be a 200 dollar box? Listed medium price says eventually it might. So hidden vates 200 dollar ETB. Wow, that's a big milestone for that box. We got some smaller movers here. This is the Arceus uh, V-Star Premium Collection. 6.3% over the past three months and a little 2% on the last month. Not a ton of sales, but a steady chart. That's why I like this one. Over the last year, just 21%. Just chugging along. Little uh, Lost Origin box here. You got some older packs in here, so um, cool little box. Then we have Twilight. Twilight Masquerade. It's still on the list. Okay, we're on the one. Oh, I didn't realize I was on the one month chart already. Almost 10% in the last month alone, and 33% in the past three months. The it just the set won't stop. It's wild. 33%, and then over the year, it's at its, it's uh just about at its one year high. Pre-release prices were pretty high. It dipped all the way down to 101. It's in the 140s. Listed median price shows 150. So it'll be very interesting. And we're about 144 on the last sales. But what will be interesting about this box, once this cracks 150, it's it's right below the new MSRP in the 160s. So be a very interesting time, and especially, especially once this starts to get to that MSRP in 160. So this is a set that I'm keeping an eye on. Just the, the gains are insane. Um, yeah, absolutely wild. Now we got... Three more on the list. Crown Zenith Mini Tin. Um, the display. Right? So you got 10.4% almost on the past three months. It was sub 100, and now we're almost at 110, but most recent sales says 111, so we'll take a look at the last solds in a second. 6.5% um, growth in the past month is pretty good. And then we zoom out to the one year. You can see these were pretty expensive for a while in the 130s, but you could have had them in for 83, and now we've cracked 100, so interesting there last solds right here 111 111 117 117 so expect this price to continue to come up especially with the la the median price being 123 second to last box we have this is the heavy hitters astral radiance uh, collection box lucario and tyranitar it's getting a little almost eight percent a little bump right here from 61 up into the 66 dollar range and tcg is wanting to fail me um, for the one month. It's not going to pull it together. I don't think maybe because there's not sales. But this box is breaking even. It was around this price a year ago. But you could have had it as low as 60. Not moving as much as some of the other boxes on the list, but just wanted to include it. 
because the because of this. This is a solid little almost eight percent, not too many sales. But last up we have so this is the Japanese uh, one five one boxes. This is price charting, and all of these sales right here are directly off of eBay. So there's just some interesting things that I want to point out here. Now you can see a lot of sales. We got $80, 82, 88, right? 95, 85. But this is where just a few outliers, okay? 150 bucks. Then we got 107, 100, and 129. So this box, you can see their chart is a little, um, little different. We'll zoom out. So what happened here, if you guys aren't familiar, the uh, Japanese Pokemon uh, Pokemon company? Anyways, Pokemon company and the Japanese side, they decided they were going to reprint the crap out of 151 because it was $200 a box right here. You see that? It went down to 183 161 came back up, 217 Now watch this drop. This is kind of wild. Sub 118 96 and Then it hits low right here around 64 And then it's slowly been bouncing back. 67 80 98 so, 151 in English and Japanese, absolutely wild. Uh, it's bouncing back. So I wanted to include it on the list. I don't have the percentages on here. Um, I didn't want to do the math, if I'm being honest. And price charting doesn't have it, so sorry. Um, but yeah, a lot of boxes moving, a lot of ETBs moving. I was surprised when I started doing this. I was like, oh, I, you know, a lot of the times I. I don't always know what I'm going to make a video about, so I, I sit down and I start pulling stuff up, right? And I just was looking for sealed product, and I just started ETB, 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 all up. So that's kind of the main focus of this video is like 151 and ETBs. These are products that are moving, just so you guys, the reason I make this is so you guys can know um, whether you're a collector or an investor, if you're wanting to rip some packs or buy some sealed product, you guys can know kind of what's moving, right? Um, I usually try and focus on like sets and cards that are on the run up if you guys want me to focus on like stuff that's crashing i mean i do do that we did we did just recently touch on some sets that are some cards that are crashing so i do do that but if you guys want me to focus on more buying opportunities or stuff like that let me know but that is going to do it for this one if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content so do yourself a favor hit the subscribe button i do daily pokemon content although if you are watching this I am recording this the day before because I will be in Japan and I don't know what the upload schedule is going to be like. I'm going to try to stay. I'm going to record some, I don't know, I might be in the airport. I might be in the hotel. I'm going to try and keep it going and I'm going to have some Japan content, hopefully some card store stuff, uh, maybe ripping some packs. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, um, but just keep in mind that I may lose a day. I may not, I've been fairly consistently uploading every single day for a while now and i'm trying to keep that going so we'll see but uh i'll see you guys in the next one and remember it was never phase